Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how to hesitate less. Hesitation is one of those things that will make you miss out on opportunities and waste time, so it's in your best interest to learn to do it less often. And that's what I hope to teach you in this video. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is to train yourself to decide more quickly in small ways. So a great example here would be when you're at a restaurant. Most people will take about three minutes to look at a menu and decide what they want. Instead, try to decide as quickly as possible. If you already have an idea of the foods you like, then look for them on the menu immediately, and as soon as you see them, make a decision. Or if you want to try something new, then look and decide as quickly as possible. I know that sounds kind of crazy. You're probably thinking, well, how is deciding at a restaurant going to change my life? And it won't directly in the moment, but learning and training yourself to decide more quickly in general will branch out to other areas of your life. Another example here that I personally put into practice in my own life is when driving. There are a lot of four-way intersections here in LA with stop signs and I've noticed quite often that when a bunch of cars hit the stop sign at the exact same time, people just kind of lose their minds and hesitate and don't know what to do and basically you get a lot of people sitting there being too nice and just not acting. Well. I used to be one of those people who was really nice and I'd wait for everyone else to go before I'd go. But then I noticed people started taking advantage of that and I would actually end up in a situation where someone who ended up at the intersection after I did, meaning they were behind one of the other cars that I let go, they would then start going too before I went and they would start taking advantage of my hesitation and my kindness. So I completely stopped doing that and now when I end up in those situations where everybody's hesitating at a stop sign, I'm the first one to go because I don't want to waste my time. I have places to go and I will be the first one to decide for everyone else and to take action. It's just you want to train yourself to decide quickly. You don't want to stand there twiddling your thumbs all the time. Be assertive. Be confident. And that pretty much segues into the next point which is you want to train yourself to be more assertive and confident and take action quicker. See, there's a huge difference between, dis between deciding and taking action. A lot of people can actually decide quickly, but then they can't follow through on their decision. They can't actually take action on it. So train yourself to not only decide, but then to follow through. So at a stop, at a stop sign, yet again, a lot of people will decide. I can even tell because I'll notice people will kind of, they'll, start going forward but then they'll stop as soon as they see that somebody else starts moving as well and that's a great example of them deciding but then not following through so always take action quickly this will save you so much time and it'll help you capitalize on opportunities and then the next thing is just train yourself to become more confident in general. This will make your life better overall, not just with hesitating less often. So it's a huge thing. But you basically want to get to a point where you can trust yourself and your abilities because that's going to give you a ton of confidence. And a huge thing that worked for me was actually working out because I used to be a really small guy. I mean, I'm not tall right now, I can tell you that. And I used to be really skinny, like almost paper thin. And I had no confidence back then because I didn't trust my own ability to protect myself. So it was very difficult for me to be confident back then for that fact alone. So for all the men out there, I highly suggest working out. It's one of the best ways of building confidence because you trust your own ability to protect yourself and defend yourself. And that's huge. But in general, working out is just a great way of relieving stress and you get confidence because you notice how you're becoming stronger over time and that's always a great thing. But beyond that, you just want to practice accomplishing as many tasks as possible. That will make you more confident because it will it'll hone your abilities and your trust in yourself to accomplish all the tasks that are put in front of you. So you just want to find as many ways as possible to develop that confidence and inevitably it will spill over into you hesitating less often because you'll trust yourself. Quite often when we hesitate on things, it's because we don't trust ourselves. We think we're going to make the wrong choice and that it's going to lead to a bad outcome. So therefore we don't make a choice at all or we just delay <laughs> taking action as long as possible. 
but you don't want to do that. And if I can, if I'll just close this video out with one last thing, it's that learning to become more decisive and assertive will make your life way better, not just making you hesitate less, but also because it makes you more attractive. People love finding someone who can actually decide quickly and they have the assertiveness and confidence to back up their decisions. I don't mean walking all over people and being that confident and not hesitating to the point that you're rude. I mean doing it tactfully with kindness, but still deciding quickly and taking action quickly because you don't want to be hesitating your whole life, especially when it comes to asking out people that you're interested in and that sort of thing. Take action, be assertive, be confident, and reap the benefits that come with it because it'll make your life way better over time. Anyway, I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!